I would wager that every single person in church this morning knows at least someone who through discouragement, through doubt, through a hard time in their life, has left the practice of the faith, has left the Catholic Church. The reasons people have for leaving the faith are as many and varied as the people themselves. Those of us who have the gift of faith sustained in us by God's compassion can't help but be distressed when we see our loved ones, our friends, walk away. Today, our gospel answers that worry. Our gospel shows us quite vividly God's love, God's care for those who, again, through discouragement, through doubt, leave the faith. We meet two such people on the road to Emmaus. They were disciples. They say that they had hoped, they had hoped that Jesus would be the prophet foretold in the scriptures. But with a downcast heart and discouragement, they relate that Jesus died. And the story, so they thought, was over. They relate the strange appearances of Jesus, how his tomb was empty, but they do not profess faith that he is risen. They have left the fellowship of the apostles. They have left the holy city of Jerusalem. They are a sign an archetype of all who leave the fellowship of the apostles, all who leave the city of God's kingdom, the church. The Lord Jesus, however, does not give up on them. The Lord Jesus follows them. He appears to them. He walks at their side. And little by little, He works on their hearts. They do not know who is walking with them. Their eyes, we are told, are closed to this mysterious reality. Jesus does the same with everyone who, through doubt and discouragement, walks away from the faith. He follows them. And in hidden ways, he works on their hearts. Jesus, we are told, begins to explain the scriptures to these two discouraged disciples. And as he does so, their hearts begin to burn with a new longing. Their hearts begin to come alive with the beginnings of faith. And finally, when they sit down at table with this mysterious presence, this mysterious person, their eyes are opened and they recognize him. They recognize that it was Jesus, the risen Jesus, all along, walking at their side, working on their hearts, and finally opening their eyes through the celebration of the Eucharist. I'm sure some of you here have had periods of doubt and discouragement in your own lives and journeys. And if that fits you, you probably recognize the handiwork of Jesus, what he did for you in this beautiful gospel. 
Jesus does not reveal himself all at once, even though we'd like him to do that. He reveals himself very often gradually, tugging at the heart, giving us a little bit of insight into the mystery of our lives, the mystery of life in general. And little by little, he calls us back. He calls us back. What's so amazing is after the disciples recognize Jesus, he vanishes. He vanishes. But filled with a new faith, they drop everything and return to the fellowship of the apostles. They return to faith. They return to the holy city. And they join the apostles as witnesses to the reality that Jesus is alive, that he truly rose from the dead. Whatever doubts, whatever discouragements, disappointments you have endured in your journey of faith, Jesus does not abandon you. Jesus follows you like the good shepherd and little by little he opens our eyes. Why? So that we can be witnesses. We can be guides to others that he lives and that he is the object of our heart's desire. In him we have peace. All of us, all of us are disciples of Jesus. All of us are loved by Jesus, in our, even in our times of doubt and discouragement. He is always at our side, even when we can't recognize him. But little by little, he opens our eyes and calls us to join the cloud of witnesses to his victory over sin, death, doubt, and all discouragement.